as we will start off uh start off with verlet swing or verlet swing or whatever uh i don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced i do know it's vaporwave so there's that <laughs> um this is the the uh the itch.io page where the demo is uh says this game may or may not have been concocted during a fever dream so that's what we're uh what we're expecting here the vaporwave okay aim at the block and shoot aim at the target and hold to attach the rope I fell. I, f I fell. Okay, so I can, like, WASD to move a little bit. Are we gonna have a moment, like, last? What, which moment are we, are we referring to? Okay, so I can... Yeah, I can I can just straight up move. Momentum is a thing. Uh, you move better in the air. Oh, the bird. I don't know if I'm going to completely lose my shit. I'm not saying I won't. But I uh I don't know that I expect to. Roman Villa. All right, got good range. <laughs> Bonk. Ah, bonk. Get a straight solid to gas, like no, no liquids. Uh, stay hydrated bot is so mad. I can hook onto the clouds. I should just do that. How's, how's it go? How's it going, Urza? Canyon. That was a, a bit too far of a thing to try to grab onto. So, like, there is, you know, a whole, like, rope length thing going on. Ah, I thought I had, like, cracked some kind of code there, but nope. It, it does, it does feel pretty solid already. Uh, I think I saw this is, well, I'm bad at it. Uh, I think I saw this is on Switch, which, uh, I'm doing this keyboard and mouse and I don't I don't know about uh, about playing this on a controller you know, miserably a problem to exp uh, those coding tests are like a bad uh, like I have a lot of uh, I'm on a rocket now I have a lot of uh, grumps and hesitations and whatnot just around tech interviewing in general. Uh, like it's a uh, a pretty questionable space. Like not a, not a lot of people handle it well. That feels much better. And now we're grabbing on the pizza. Because that's what this game is, apparently. This is trickier than it looks, by the way. You know, wanting to do this without, uh, without hitting anything. Oh. 
That works. That works. Yeah, like on those rare occasions that I'm bonk, that I'm summoned to do a uh, an interview to like interview a possible candidate. Uh, I I never ask technical questions ever. I'm just like I'm trying to figure out how you think and who you are as a person. Ah, uh, bark. There's a path on this one. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, an intended path. Satellite, thank you. I hit a tree. I'm gonna stop for a moment. Uh, <laughs> Satellite, thank you for the 500 bits. Did uh. Did that end up giving me a flag? So, it would not surprise me. Oh, yeah. Give me the good old... The good old flag. Uh... That works. That does not work enough. <clears throat> Like, this, mechanically, this all feels so natural that I'm like, I don't feel like I need to discuss it. It's like nothing about this is coming off as a surprise. Like, the, uh, the weight and the momentum of flinging yourself around with a hookshot makes total sense. Uh... The, uh, the music and style and whatnot is its own thing. Uh, which I got no problem with. Vaporwave is not quite my brand, but... I do still listen to it. That's a save! Right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, this does have the kind of flow that uh, you would expect from a good Spider-Man game. And it's difficult. Uh, not because of the control scheme necessarily, it's just, you know, you're moving kind of quick, especially as you're doing these more acrobatic stunts that I'm doing just to show off, even though I haven't earned the right to show off. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is to this is a total speedrunner game. Yeah. I mean, at the end of it, every level is just, you know, get to the uh, to the finish as quick as you can without taking a death. It's uh, it's all about positioning and momentum and all that. Bam! That was a bit stressful. Uh, and like the uh, the visual style, the whole vaporwave thing, it's doesn't it doesn't feel obnoxious, you know? It's 
It's like the whole thing is clearly a bit ridiculous, and so why wouldn't it look weird and stylized? There we go. Uh, how am I going to get these tops times? I have no idea. Kind of swing horizontally. But yeah, like the next rank is eight seconds. How am I going to shave a second off of that? Like, there's a lot of. Uh, A lot of challenge in uh, in that. I bonked. Again, there's a path here, and I'm like half inclined to try and avoid the path, but uh, not having a ton of luck doing so. <laughs> like this, this is a legit challenge. And it's such a simple concept, so I really have to applaud being able to make that tough. I had that too. I had that one. I can't, yeah, this in VR, like that's, that's Nausea City is what that is. Like that is actual Pukesville. Whew. Dynamic discs. <laughs> you know, just casually dodging some pizza, as you do. There's your sense of speed. <laughs> I did a whoops. Okay, again, trickier than it looks. That was too early. Nope. These are all about timing. Gotta get your rhythm right. That is not right. That does it. And still, you gotta shave a second off to get the uh, the fourth teapot. <sighs> like if you're gonna if you're gonna speed run this, if you're gonna push, it's gonna demand a lot out of you. But I mean, for uh, for a game with a vaporwave style, it's very understandable as to what's going on. Yeah, it all uh, it all makes sense. 
she said before swinging on teapots over a traffic jam. Makes total sense. Yeah, that's, I don't think there's a way to recover from that. I've also got, like, no doubt at any given time, like, can I or can I not hook on to the thing? It's a simple cursor, but it's very consistent and uh, very effective. And I'm bad. Yeah, I feel like going over the top is just not going to help. I, was, I, I think I was getting somewhere there, but... Nope. This is gonna be one of those demos where I breeze through the first, like, dozen levels, and then the last one just gives me constant pain and agony. I could go under, but I don't think I have much space. <laughs> Do not have the space. It definitely, like, requires you to, uh... To have strong reflexes and really good spatial reasoning. Whew. Lefty righty, okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I like this other route instead. I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm trying to like mentally process how you're supposed to do that at full speed. And oh my. Also, I'm pretty sure, like, this, the level name and number up top, I think that's the same font I use for Demo Disc. <laughs> I think that's Alien Encounters. <laughs> there's, a, there's a kinship. Maze Runner, uh-oh. Bonk. Good. Checkmate history. I have a feeling that's going to be the entire demo. Yeah, that's, this is looking like a credit sequence. All right. So, yeah, there's, uh... There's your demo. 
No, no mid credits level. Or if there was, I immediately just completely skipped past it. <laughs> so thank you for the three months with uh, with Twitch Prime. Cheers to you. I switched over to the menu overlay thing, but cheers nonetheless. Um. close that uh there are apparently 100 levels in the full game so that was one fifth of it um and that was like actually a lot of fun and also it went off uh it went off twice for some reason <laughs> uh but like that worked mechanically very well uh like all the all the uh, the function of just finding something to hook shot on to hitting it, uh, and then like the momentum of the swing and all that, it all felt correct. It all worked perfectly. Uh, and like that ridiculous kind of vaporwave style, for what this game is, like that's totally sensible. No, this is uh, this is not a game that's exactly steeped in reality. So, whatever, give it some style. Give it, give it some uh, some silliness. Um, it has it has a Steam Workshop and Twitch integration in the full. I I need to look at like what that means for the full thing. Uh, if it, uh, if it goes into detail, which it does not, I can, I can look at the Steam Workshop, though. I can try to, uh, to see what levels people have made. I don't actually know where to go in Steam to find that if I don't own the game. Uh, why am I bad at UI? Community hub. There we go. There is naturally there is a uh, a workshop level for that game called Vape Nation. Uh, so there you go. The. Yeah, I, th I've, I feel like having the uh, the workshop is smart because like, you're gonna get through the levels, and I, I expect some of them will get really tough towards the end. But from there, it's either new levels or like speed running and just trying to uh, to improve. And it seems like that's gonna be really hard as you get towards the end. So. Uh, I imagine more people would be interested in more levels rather than uh, than upping the difficulty. Uh, like that that is one that I had uh, I had seen here and there for a little while, and I've been like loosely interested because it is so distinctive and different, and it it held up. So I have to uh, I have to give it props for that.